If you are an educator setting up your aquarium in your classroom for the first time and you don't know what you're doing, this is the video for you. My name is Sarah Gannis. I work for the Sonoma County Water Agency. And in this video, I will be describing the standard setup that we use for our steelhead in the classroom program. Start by selecting a location that is flat, sturdy, and able to support at least 100 pounds. Place the under gravel filter plate in the bottom of the tank towards the left rear corner. Next, install the power filter by fitting it down over the aquarium frame in the back left corner. The power filter unit has the chiller mounted to its top. Adjust the riser tube so that the O-ring or gasket is snug against the riser tube to prevent any fry from being drawn into the filter. Connect the chiller plug to its power supply. The plug has a key which will only fit one way. Do not plug in the power cords before you have added the water or you could burn up your equipment. Before adding gravel, thoroughly rinse it in a bucket and allow it to dry on a plastic sheet. Carefully add the gravel to the center of the aquarium and then level it out with a slight slope so that the back is higher than the front. Adding some smooth stones, about the size of a fist, will give the alvins a natural place to hide after they hatch. Be sure to add only spring water or dechlorinated tap water not distilled water. You'll likely need to add more water over time in order to keep the water level where it should be, which is close to the top of the aquarium. It is very important to set up your tank at least four days before you get your eggs to allow time for it to reach the correct temperature. Attach the thermometer inside the aquarium where students can easily read it, ideally between 45 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. It's also very important to pour extra water inside the power filter before plugging it in. You are now ready to plug both power cords into a power strip. Check the back of the unit for the illuminated green light, which lets you know that the chiller is turned on. So anytime you are not looking at your fish, maintaining your tank, or feeding the fish, you wanna make sure that they stay nice and cold and in the dark. So in your bag, you're gonna find two pieces of white foam. The first piece, that's a rectangle, goes in the front, just like that. And this other piece with a square cutout goes on the top. So now you should have everything ready to go to raise steelhead in the classroom. Enjoy the process, have fun, remember to relax. And if you run into problems, there's a lot of resources out there for you. Most teachers in the program have a sponsor they can call. They can go to the website, they can go to the blog, they can go to the Facebook page and focus on teaching your students about watersheds. It's a great project.